Today, we'll be taking a look at the drum belt on this LG gas dryer. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, must first lift this top panel here. It can be a little frustrating, but what you'll need is a uh, putty knife. And on the corners, they put a little kind of small triangular locking tab that you have to press in with the putty knife and lift up. But there's not a lot of room to see exactly where it's at. So I'm gonna use just the corner because the full blade will not be able to hit it. Go just the corner and I want you to go about an inch in, press in and start to lift up. You should feel it bending. And then we can see right there where it's at. Once you get one side up, it's a little easier to see the second side. But like I said, usually about an inch in, maybe inch and a half. You'll press in, lift up on the top, and then let it rest against a wall or a platform. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the front panel here. And in order to do that, we'll open up the door we have four Phillips screws inside that need to be taken out. And let's set those to the side here. Now, next, we're gonna close the door. We have two screws on the top that will need to be removed. Let's start with this one. Now, normally, these have a small kind of bent piece of metal that holds the front up. This one's a little jacked up, so I'm gonna have to put my knee on it because this is bent up here while I remove that next screw. I'll prevent it from falling. See that side just falls right forward. And then we'll have to disconnect the door switch right here. Be very careful, pull it out, lift up on the front panel and set it to the side. Now that we got that set aside, let's go ahead and take off our bulkhead here. In order to do this, we will disconnect your moisture sensor on the bottom. You just pinch and separate. Then we have multiple Phillips screws on the bulkhead to take it out. Next, what we'll do is lift up on the bulkhead, start to pull it out, keep the drum held up, and set the bulkhead to the side. Now that we have the bulkhead removed and set aside, we have clear access to our belt. Now the main reason why you would be replacing the belt is if it is broken and it is not spinning, in which case you can just reach inside and pull out the broken belt. Sometimes you may find where the belt is damaged and there may be slithers hanging off and it's causing it to make noise or it may be stretched out where you actually have some play when you pull up on the belt. There's all reasons why it would need to be replaced. Now, if your belt is still attached to remove it, we'll reach inside and what you will find is your belt, your motor pulley that is down here, as well as your idler. You will pull up on your idler here to release tension Remove the belt from the motor pulley. Start to pull it up. And just get your belt out of the way. We will lift up, slide out the belt, lift up the drum, slide from the other side, and set it to the side. When installing your new belt, once you get it from the package, one thing I would recommend doing is stretching and actually flattening it out. In order to do so, put the ribbed portion against the bottom of your shoe, pull up tight, just start to slide it around a little bit. This tends to work very well. It keeps the belt straight while we put it on. 
And in order to install your new belt, we will start to bring it over the motor. When you are bringing it on the drum, bring it up as high as you can and just kind of wiggle it until you get it into the right place. That'll keep it from getting snagged on the other components underneath. Next, let's reach inside and let's install it on the idler. Now, in order to do so, we have a flat spot on the belt and then we have a ribbed spot. In order to install it, we will put the flat spot around the idler pulley here. Start to pull up on the idler pulley. It will stretch the spring down on the bottom. Hold up, pull the belt around the motor pulley and it should be the ribbed side around the motor pulley. Gently let down on the idler. Now we can reinstall the bulkhead. When reinstalling your bulkhead, first of all, we have the rollers on the bottom here that your drum will have to rest on. We also have these almost like little pins that will go into these notches on the frame. So what I want you to do is I want you to put the front of the bulkhead, you rest the front of the drum on it, okay? And then pull up with the weight of the front of the drum and just set into your first two picks here, all right? When you're at that point, give the drum a turn. This will draw the front of the bulkhead in and rest the drum on the rollers. Lift up and get the other two sides in. Let's reinstall our Molex on the bottom. This one popped out here. Now let's reinstall the four screws. Frame's a little torqued on this one, so it keeps pulling out, but we'll secure it. Let's reinstall the last one. Now we can reinstall the front panel. When reinstalling the front, since the metal's bent, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my drill on over with the screw on it. And then when I reattach the front base, has holes on the bottom of this front panel. You'll see those little pegs on the bottom of the frame. So I'm gonna lift up, put the pegs inside the hole, push forward. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the door switch while I'm here, keep my knee on it, and reinstall this screw. It deflects this a little bit. Let's reinstall this one. Get these four reinstalled. And these ones look a little bit different than the others. It's almost like a darker gray. Close the door, let's go ahead and pop down that top. To reinstall the top, very simple. Just bring it down, try not to cut yourself. Line it up, press down, boom. There you go, and that will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.